Good day you beautiful ones in Christ. I've just come to share a word uh, with you today to hopefully upbuild you all. And uh, what I'm going to share with you today is, is uh, I've been talking about the time of preparation and what that preparation is for the, uh, the revealing of Christ in the sons and daughters. And, uh, and just a w quick word from Romans where he says, I raise you up for this very purpose that I might display my power in you. And this is what uh, happened in the first century. The Lord's power, God's power was revealed in the disciples and they were granted to do works greater than Christ. And I'm sensing and hoping and praying that uh, this, sa this same power, the Holy Spirit, is revealing Christ in many people. And what is going to come forward uh, are those people who are going to come forward with uh, uh, a new language, a new song, a new way of speaking uh, to win the hearts and minds of broken hearted and healing the lost, the lonely, the sick. Uh, spiritually now i'm also toying with the ideas about physical healing as well because by faith we can achieve anything if we only have faith we can do anything and those apostles were granted and given permission to do works greater than christ and that must still stand because we also have a share in that inheritance what those apostles had and so what is coming forward is a revealing, the bubbling up of, of Christ in us, that light uh, which will come forth out of our mouth. And that which comes out of our mouth, that living word, is Jesus Christ himself. And this is what I'm, I'm seeing and sensing and, and, and realising uh, what's coming forward. It's a mighty work that's going on amongst uh, the body, amongst many people. And, um, and and many who, who didn't see will see, and many who have not understood will understand. So God will raise up people who don't know. He will raise up people who, who weren't looking for Christ. He will bring these ones forward ahead of those which claim to have, uh, to know everything. And, um, and this is what we have to be uh, discern about what the, the, what is coming forward. So this is why I'm always banging on about humbling ourselves. We have to humble ourselves before each other. We don't exalt ourselves above another person because just because of what we think we understand. What we think we understand is is nothing to what is coming forward, and and the power of of. The power of Christ in us revealed is going to be such a blessing to the people of the earth when they begin to look for the light. And these ones who are proclaiming and speaking that living word uh, will do a mighty powerful work to the glory of the Father, not for their own glory. And these people are not seeking for their own glory. They become to realise what the work has been going on over the years and then in, in times and seasons throughout the generations and this work has always gone on and so as I said in my last video he always has a people uh, to glorify himself through and and this is what I'm sensing uh, and the bubbling up of, of life coming forward from the sons and daughters to be a beacon to be a light in the darkness and uh, this is such a, an honour and a blessing for all of us who are in Christ and come to recognise that Christ is in us. We are in Christ. We are one with Christ. We are one with God. We are one with each other. And this comes through understanding. And, uh, and, and, and thankfully, the Lord has let us and he showed us and let us see it. He's lifted those veils for us to see him, for him to be revealed within us. And so we can walk forward in confidence and in glory. So he is gloried, glorified. And if he is glorified, you too will be glorified. Don't be afraid of that because it's the Father's will that you will be glorified. When we see about the, the platitudes and meek shall inherit the earth and the earth belongs to 
such like ones who mourn and who seek righteousness, the peacemakers, those who love God, and uh, these ones will get their reward in their time. But we must put aside the things of the world, quit looking what the world is doing. Yeah, we are uh, bystanders. We are just bystanders of what's going on. We do not participate or take part. It's easy to get drawn into those things, brothers and sisters. It's very easily, and other people will try to drag you into those things. But as a son and daughter of God, you we have to come out of the darkness, step into his glorious light, and reveal his life from within us. And uh, those people will come forward out of the shadows with joy, confidence, and the power of God. And what, what that power is, and whatever the Father decides the power is going to be within each of us, I don't know. It's none of my business. But what, what he is planning to do is reveal the revealing of Jesus Christ in those sons and daughters. And the whole world is moaning and groaning for the revealing of those sons and daughters. And I pray all you out there come to realize and sense and understand the revealing of Christ in you is taking place. And this is part of the preparation, the season of preparation for the revealing of whatever the Lord's uh, will is, is to be. And, and, and this is uh, the fullness expression of our faith will come forward out of our mouth and the fruitage of our spirit will come forward out of our mouth and that which we are seeking we will speak of so don't go on speaking about the Illuminati, the New World Order, the government's doing this, Muslims doing that blah 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 get out of it and come into the glorious freedom uh, of Christ that you have been given and and the Lord is, is shows us where to go he shows us and he expects us to go that way not to talk about it not to talk about the love but to be love he wants us to be love because he is love brothers and sisters and this is very important this is and the, and the people are crying out the people in the world are crying out for love to be manifest in the world because all we're getting is darkness, doom and gloom. And we don't want to be part of the doom and gloom merchants, which so, unfortunately many Christians are. They love the doom and gloom. But, but what they're not understanding is that the revealing of God, magnifying himself in the earth, is going to be a wonderful blessing for the earth. Because through Abraham, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. And this is for eternity. So don't make the thing, uh, don't fall into the trap of uh, interpreting uh, scriptures as, as literally happening because those things have many ways of being understood. As, and you have to understand hyperbole, symbolic, uh, metaphor language that was used back in those days um, to describe things. And uh, and so the Lord isn't going to throw thunderbolts with fire down at the earth. He's not angry with the nations anymore. He wouldn't put his son upon the cross. He put his wrath upon his son. And his son became sin for us, for the whole world, one time only. So why would the father be get, get angry once again? Otherwise, that, would be, that, that event would be... Null and void, and that null, that event must become an issue in the future of mankind's uh, re the re revelation to mankind, or, or the freedom of mankind that is going to come uh, when people get so fed up with the darkness or frightened of the darkness, they will look for the light, and that light is there at all time to be revealed to be seen, to be shown, when those veils of unbelief are lifted and God will magnify himself in the earth, brothers and sisters, through you. And you must become a shining light. Get, get that other foot out of the kingdom, brothers and sisters. Get it out of the kingdom and sorry getting out of the world's kingdoms and coming to the kingdom that is established above all the other kingdoms this is what is happening all this all the counterfeit kingdoms are crumbling around us those counterfeit kingdoms were put there to 
to serve a purpose. And the purpose was to reveal the true kingdom of God in the earth, manifested in the earth. And whether it's come from a realization and understanding and a spiritual thing, people will come and look for Jesus Christ. I have no doubt about that whatsoever, brothers and sisters. It's a wonderful work. I'm rejoicing. As bystanders, we see what's going on in the world. We're, we're not weeping. We're, we're, when, when the world is weeping and gnashing their teeth at the things coming upon the earth, God's people are walking in joy, in love, in life in life abundant because the blessings that's being placed within us because he set us free from those things so stop raiming on about your problems stop going on about this problem that problem it's probably because you still got another two feet in the kingdom you have to get rid of that emotional attachment that psychological and emotional attachment to the things of the world which crumble and fall and do not last and i said in my last video in a click of a finger things can disappear so don't walk in in the pride of what you have it can be gone in an instant in an instant brothers and sisters we we we're literally seeing nations fall in an instant and this is how the lord is working and um i'm i'm fully confident in my creator that his work to reconcile the whole of mankind back to himself is part of this whole process that's going on and so we have no need to fear there is no fear in perfect love we've been given perfect love because jesus christ is that perfect love and the whole of creation the whole of creation made by him is for him the walk of our life is for him the glory of God's creation is for Jesus Christ. So somewhere along the line, the issue has to be resolved in the world. Who is this Jesus Christ? Who is this marvellous person? The only person in history who did what he did for the whole of mankind. For the righteous and the unrighteous. Can you see the marvellous work that the Lord has done? That God's wonderful plan from the beginning is is in motion is taking place so our hearts should be leaping we should be full of joy full of life for full of fire to proclaim to speak that living word of reconciliation to heal our hearts and minds to heal the wounds to be a helping hand to the lonely to the lost ones can you see why the Lord has these sons and daughters in the earth to do this work on his behalf? And we have to step into that work. We have to walk in that, in that walk. We have to not just talk the talk. This is so important, brothers and sisters. Yeah, we're always going to fall short. Get that condemnation off your shoulders. It's gone already. Yeah? You've been forgiven past, present and future. Get rid of that condemnation. You're always going to be imperfect till the day you die. Don't you understand? But the Lord isn't looking at you as an imperfect. You are his son and daughter. We become disobedient now and then. Yes, we do, because this is part of the human nature. Yeah? But he doesn't look at us as sinners, as wicked. You're his children. Do you look at your children in that way? No, you don't. For a moment, you might be upset with them and the things you do, but that love for the, for your children overpowers all those other things. It's the same with God. You have the love of God within you. Let it shine. As the song says, let it shine. Yes, brothers and sisters, this is a wonderful, wonderful time to be a son and daughter of the living God, to be a follower of Jesus Christ, to have that kingdom within us to have that kingdom manifest from within us that fruitage of the spirit coming to the full bloom yeah in which all people can enjoy and partake that fruitage which comes from you and many people will come to you there'll be streams of people lines of people wanting to know who is this jesus christ and you will have a living word to proclaim the goodness of god in the earth what a wonderful blessing 
you can't you can't earn that anywhere you can't get that anywhere in the world that wonderful blessing and that joy and that peace that you get for God from God and that wonderful privilege of serving him in this way and serving mankind and so as I said before humble yourselves before one, one another quit arguing over doctrines quit <laughs> quit <laughs> quit the desire to be right about this on the earth get into that ministry of reconciliation lift your heads up lift up your hearts and march forward in the power and the glory of the Lord this is an amazing time there's an amazing blessing coming up upon the God's people in the earth while the doom and gloom's going on. Can't you see? Can't you see what's going on? Get your other foot out of the world. Get them both in the kingdom and see the glory of God in your life. Peace.